Stealth Arms Platypus, final verdict. So, if you're wondering what the Stealth Arms Platypus is, it's a 1911, but it takes Glock magazines. A particular one uses Glock 17 mags. They may have more in the works that'll be coming soon. So it is a 9mm 1911 double stack that uses Glock 17 mags. Why on earth would anybody want one of these? Well, let's go talk about it. First of all, we're out at Pickens County Sportsman's Club, so if you are in the area and looking for an awesome shooting club to join, this is a fantastic one. It is member only, and there may be a wait list, but it's a great club. So the Stealth Arms Platypus. This is a phenomenal pistol. I'm not just saying that because I'm invested in having spent the money in it, but these 100 rounds that I have gone through today put us solidly at 4,500 rounds. 4,500 rounds I have put through this pistol since I got it. It's blown me away. This is actually now my go-to home defense uh, gun because of a number of things. Number one, I like the 19 round Glock mags. So with these mags in there, I've got an empty one here, I'll show you. With that in there, that's your form factor. Uh, not too shabby. That gives you 20 rounds in the pistol with a round chambered. Next thing, lights. I have a Streamlight TLR9 on there. Love this light. The slimness of it matches the 1911 size, if you will. The other reason I like it has a very nice trigger, ambi safety, and red dot. All of those things together make this an extremely fast shooting pistol, extremely accurate pistol, and an extremely easy to shoot well pistol. Uh, Nine millimeter is not the most powerful round in the world, but it's certainly no slouch. And I trust this to defend my family. So I'm gonna, there's gonna be a few cards bouncing around. One is gonna be my main video on this gun. The next one is going to be uh, home defense weapon types, why I choose a pistol, things like that. Uh, we can get into that in the comments if you want, if you have other feelings on it, but I like a handgun for home defense for my own reasons. So this has become that, I like this gun. It's a bit large for me for concealed carry. However, I did get a holster from QVO Tactical and I do carry it sometimes depending on where I'm going. It also has a threaded barrel. So if the ATF will hurry up on my Omega 9K stamp, uh, that will most likely live on there while it's at home. Stealth Arms is a company out of Ohio. Uh, they're an American company. They produce a ton of their parts in house. So you end up with uh, you end up with a pistol that is made here and built here. The thing that sets the platypus apart compared to the myriad of other handguns you could get is the fact that this is customizable from the website. No two are the same, to my knowledge. Everything, and it is clear, everything is built out in the website. So I'll give you a close up, and we'll go over some of the choices I made and why. So, like I said, the pistol is clear. We'll go ahead and drop the slide on it. So, number one, 19 round mag, empty mag, goes in. I like the mag funnel because as you can see, it, there is some beveling, beveling there, but it is very easy, even with my eyes closed, to get that mag right where it needs to go. So, very impressive there. That's why I opted for that. You don't have to get it. Uh, ambi safety, 
Sometimes you gotta shoot left-handed. My oh, man likes an ambi safety. Red dot, don't have to get it. I opted for it. They now have the uh, full-size RMR cut, which will work with the Holosun 507C. They didn't when I ordered it. That's fine. This optic looks good on there. So it comes with a Novak plate. Take that off, and they include a backup iron that works well with the front sight. So the front sight is green fiber optic. I've had no issues with the fiber optic coming out. Colors, well, that was just my preference. You can see I've been shooting it. My wedding ring scratched it up there. So I got green there, a little racing stripe back there. A um, bunch of cool stuff. I can drop the, actually, I believe in my main video, I dropped what I used in there. Slide cuts, I just like the aesthetics on that one. So that's why I went with it. Threaded barrel, self-explanatory. Uh, rail for a light, wanted to put a light on it. You don't have to. I went round trigger guard. Uh, you can do square. I just like the round. And the trigger I went with is their skeleton trigger. I went with the middle trigger weight, not the lightest, but not the heaviest. And that's a very good trigger weight as well. It's, it's, a, it's one of the nicest triggers I've ever shot and is the nicest trigger in my collection. So who is the platypus aimed at? Who, well, nobody right now, but who is this marketed towards? Well, I was saving up to get a staccato. I really wanted uh, a nine millimeter, 1911, 2011. Um, that had decent capacity. That was what I wanted. Then this hit, and as soon as I could convince my wife I needed it, I got it. Uh, and I've been very happy with it. Does that mean I won't get a staccato down the road? Not necessarily, um, although for the difference in price, I may just grab another one of these now that they continue to come out with more options. They also have custom 1911s uh, that are not the platypus that you can get in 9, 40, 38 Super, 45 ACP, obviously, and 10 millimeters. So I've been very impressed with the company itself. Uh, I've been very impressed with the gun. It's definitely a pride of ownership piece. Uh, Actually, one of my buddies nearby has a platypus. We love bringing them out to range days out here and having a ball shooting them. They're very fun guns to shoot. So I'd say this is uh, marketed to anybody that wants all the great things about a 1911 with it chambered in a 9mm and literally the least expensive, most commonly accessible magazines that run really well on the market. Uh, would it make a good self-defense gun? If you can conceal this, yeah, uh, that would be the only bar to me recommending this for concealed carry or anything like that is uh, if you can get away with it and you can deal with carrying it. As far as reliability, it's been great. In terms of accuracy, fantastic. Uh, ease of shooting and shooting quickly and follow-up shots and all that. Again, I can't ask for a better gun. So the final verdict is very simple. If you want one, get one. Uh, the price is definitely up there. It's one of the more expensive guns that I have purchased. That being said, I do feel like it's worth it. I do have a gun that is truly mine. Everything about this is something I picked out on the website and built. Uh, I love it. It is one of those guns that I'm very glad I own. Uh, I know that my children will fight over it one day when it's time for it to move on down the line, but it may get buried with me, so who knows. So that is it in a nutshell. Do I recommend the Stealth Arms Platypus? Yes, uh, wholeheartedly. Yes, yes, yes. If anything changes, I'll gladly let you guys know. Um, I don't anticipate that happening. So awesome job from Tim and the team at Stealth Arms for putting together a fantastic product that I can stand here and wholeheartedly recommend. If you have thoughts on the platypus, drop them in the comments below. Or if you own one and you want to share your experiences with the Stealth Arms platypus, drop that in the comments below. As always, guys, stay safe, try to get to the range, and I'll see you around.